All right, folks. Welcome to Helmet Camera Central. We're going to do an unboxing of the new Contour HD by V Holder. You can see here their packaging is sort of a hard acrylic plastic that actually looks like uh, what it might look like if it was on the side of someone's head. They did a good job on that. Looks pretty snazzy, small, compact. I'm use a little razor blade here and cut off some of these sticker tags to open this bad boy up. There's one, two, three there. There's another one here. This is a additional product information box which really just has uh, some warranty information on it. Let's see if I get this thing out of the box. Come on, there it goes. So there it is. Um, there's a few more spots now to, to clear. You do one at the top here, another one over on the side, and then there's one on the end right here. And then this last top piece will slide off for you here. If I got, oh no, I missed one. There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, we do a slice here. There's some adhesive on the bottom that holds it in place, so. Get your fingers in here like this and pop. Like that, like that. There's another cut down here like this. Pop like this and then pull some more adhesive. And now we open open up to the contents here. You have your uh, goggle mount, battery, USB cable, and Looks like we just got to undo this twisty here. There we go. And then if you flip around to the top here, it looks like we're going to slide it right off the T-rail, just like that. And there it is, unboxed. So here's the Contour HD. It's the exact same form factor as the V-holder, the original V-holder. It's now touting a 135 degree wide angle lens and still has the rotatable lens for setting it flat on something. That's your vertical mount. On the back you have the same hatch, pop that open. Some of the new features back here, really the only one is the HD-SD switch right here. Um, HD-SD, pretty simple. Battery compartment, I'm going to go ahead and pop the battery in. Plus first. Flip the latch, lock it in place, and hold down the power button. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000. So, a little faster boot up time than the original V-holder. And we are ready to rock. Um, comes with an included 2 gig memory card. It's already in the camera. And uh, it's now on. You got the green LED functioning. Laser button on the back. The laser lights just come on. I don't know if you can notice, see that. And really easy to operate. One button slide forward. Beeps. It's recording. You can see the light is red. Slide back to stop recording, double beep. This is the T-Rail mount system. Um, interfaces in a couple different ways. Um, this is the standard helmet mount. This is an adhesive patch on the back. Peel that off, put it on something on your helmet. And to mount the camera onto it, you just line up the rails here like this and slide. Click and locked. So if you want to switch over to the goggle mount, the uh, Contour HD includes this, this standard helmet mount plus a goggle mount. And uh, one thing that isn't real obvious with the T-Rail mounting system is this whole inner circle part here pops out. It's in, And you can see there's little teeth in there that allow you to rotate the angle of this as well inside this housing. To get it out though is a trick. And the manual which is also included in the box, um, tells you to put the mount in the rail and basically 
with using a lot of quite a bit of force with your hands, you grab this and you yank on it and it pops off. So now what you have is this is your helmet mount, and here you have a T-rail base. You can see the notches for adjusting angles, and then this has this ad adhesive bomber adhesive uh, interlocking Velcro in there. So now that you have that off, you can take your goggle mount and up arrows up on the goggles and assuming you would have a strap, your goggle strap in there first then you would come in and insert this like so and snap it in there and there it is so if you look at it from the side there's enough space in there to slide your goggle mount through and now you got your T-rail locked and loaded and now assuming if you had your goggle in there it would be um, on the side of your helmet on your goggle looks pretty straightforward pretty clean packaging um, the manual is in the box here this little triangle piece we took out it's this little guy right here a little trifold precise concise to the point and a USB cable for charging it um, as soon as you take this out of the box uh, most of the batteries have some charge on them but um, you know you gotta wait you, you gotta get a get a good full charge on it before you launch. So connect it to your computer for a couple to three hours and go from there. Um, SD HD modes, um, HD shoots in 1280 by 720 and the SD mode um, is 848 by 480 and really what the SD mode is is it's a cropped subsection of the 1280 by 720 resolution so you don't actually have the 135 degree wide angle lens when you're in SD mode you're actually running about 90 degree wide angle lens in SD mode but in SD it shoots at 60 frames per second which is really fun to watch it, it's a totally different visual perception of motion and uh, somewhat enjoyable so it's good stuff the memory support on this unit um, like I said, it comes with the 2 gig micro SD, and these are tiny little cards. Uh, don't lose these out in the wild. Uh, but they support up to 16 gigs, and um, we've tried them with 8 gig cards uh, right out of the box. Works great. Um, looking forward to some of the new accessories coming down. Um, there's a car charger that's coming that purports that the contour could be plugged in um, and, and be charging while it's recording, which would, in a car scenario, or somewhere where you have a, an additional power source, you could run the contour for several hours straight, um, which is a nice feature. So we'll be exploring that later on when some of these additional accessories come out. Uh, looking forward to getting this out, putting it through its paces. Um, I gave it a good shake test and a drop test earlier, and it passed the test. So uh, have fun out there, and looking forward to hearing everybody's feedback on this uh, brand new product that's helping take uh, wearable video to the next step. Thanks, V Holder. Nice work, job. Nice, nice job, guys.